After a driver hit a teen crossing a busy street over the weekend, neighbors say that road in the Southgate neighborhood isn't safe. The accident happened Saturday on Princess Anne Road and Huckleberry Trail in Virginia Beach. The teen is in fair condition tonight, but years of complaints have residents telling the city, we told you so. Ten of your sides, Andy Fox has been out there all day. Andy? Yeah, see this car here? It had to wait over there about three minutes in order to get out of the Southgate neighborhood. The city knows this has been a problem for years. They study it every year. Well, on Saturday, someone nearly got killed out here. A 14-year-old remains in fair condition after she was hit by a car while walking her bike across Princess Anne Road while going to her home in the Southgate neighborhood. It point. doesn't surprise me because there have been so many accidents down there. Richard Moody has lived in Southgate 21 years, and Linda Sober's parents built a house out here 25 years ago. We can't get out. I won't. I will not even attempt to go out of the neighborhood once traffic time comes and forget summertime with all the tourists heading to Sandbridge, it's impossible. The traffic is so busy on Princess Anne, residents can't get out of the neighborhood. So the city put up this stoplight at Seaboard Road. Most residents, though, don't use it. You can only leave Southgate to get to the Seaboard Road light. Residents were concerned about cut throughers, so the city made it one way out only. And you cannot get in or out at Smokehouse Road. Seaboard Road will also be extended through here to Nemo Parkway, and there will be another light. There will not be a light, though, here at Rocking Chair Lane at Nemo that leads to the Hunt Club neighborhood. Virginia Beach spokesperson Drew Lankford. Here, probably sometime towards the latter part of next summer, we expect the Nemo project to be completed as well as the Seaboard Road project to be completed, and once they are, we anticipate as much as 75% of the traffic on Princess Anne Road to be diverted over to Nemo Parkway. No light here is terrible news for Southgate and Hunt Club residents. There are children who ride their bikes through both neighborhoods to go see their friends. They absolutely have to put a light at this intersection. 10 on your side has asked the city to reconsider the refusal to put up a light here. Drew Langford says the city will reconsider that. Can you imagine trying to get across all these lanes of traffic when the Nemo extension opens? Yeah, what, right here, another car waiting to get on to Princess Anne. Now, the Southgate General Meeting will take place Thursday at 7 p.m. And you better believe at the Princess Anne Rec Center, you better believe that this will be the hot topic of conversation. In Virginia Beach, Andy Fox, 10 on your side.